All right, so uh, I got three acoustic guitars here and just kind of wanted to compare the sound of all three of them. Uh, the first one here is a Denver and uh, really this guitar plays quite nicely. It's a newer guitar, nothing wrong with that. So I thought it'd just be neat to hear that same thing on all three guitars. Because I always thought this guitar here was quite decent until I heard those other two. <laughs> so I'll get one of them. Okay. So that first one, that Denver, I don't know. But uh, I'm guessing that'd be a $400 guitar, probably brand new. Four, five, six, four, five. This one here, uh, let me see, I think Annie and I went up to uh, Jinji Music in Anaganesh there a couple weeks ago and bought a couple of these. So this one here is a uh, Boucher and this one's a Studio Goose SG-21. And this is the one that she chose for herself originally. It's kind of a little bit smaller, probably like what you call like a three-quarter size body compared to a big dreadnought or something. But the sound on it is incredible. It's just a cannon, this friggin' guitar. Even like the much bigger full body uh, bluegrass goose, or whatever the heck they're called. Yeah, goose. Um, it's a it's a big, loud guitar. But this thing here is a cannon. So, this one originally Annie bought it for herself, and I bought the next one, but uh, we've kind of since switched, because uh, I find this one here to be a lot easier to play. <laughs> So I'm going to go get the next one. So you're not going to be able to see this tall in these really poor lighting conditions. But uh, this one here is another Boucher. And it is the Bluegrass Goose. BG-52. And you can't see it, but this is the reason that I wanted this guitar. When we went to get them, uh, Annie was playing this one here first, and uh, just looking at it, I, I mean, it's a sunburst, which you can't see in these poor lighting conditions. Oh, there you go. So you can see a little bit of lighter sunburst in the middle. 
and but just the body it was just a beautiful guitar I mean all these bindings all the way around I just like the looks of it so I never even played it and I decided to want this one and that's why right there I mean just the the sounds that come out of this guitar Should have played that same thing on all three because this one here, the sounds that come out of this guitar is unbelievable. <clears throat> but it's fun to have both of them. Because both of them are just really playable. I've got a cheap $100 Yamaha was my other guitar before this one. And I can't finger pack them. I don't know why that one. But both of these are just beautiful, no problem. So anyways, that's, that's, that's all for this one. It's a good thing it was mainly oh, about uh, calling. audio. Since the video is so bad, you can't see anything. But, but I guess that'd be the... That'd be the point. And we spent a fair bit of cash on these uh, guitars, but I already had a guitar, a nice Taylor 614, that I paid five grand for. And I'd say it's the best decision I've ever made in my life. This is a beautiful sounding guitar. And same thing with these ones. It's much more conducive to playing and nice to have a guitar that as soon as you play anything you're going to instantly sound a lot better than you did before. So that'll be all for now.